Meghan Markle and Harry made a wrong move at the wrong time with Shock Miami appearance. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's brand can become a legacy if they play their cards right, but they need to be very careful with how they present themselves to the world from now on, one PR expert said. Thanks to their worldwide reach, popularity, and connections, Meghan and Harry could create a successful charitable organization, according to one PR expert. Anthony Burr, founder at Burr Media, even believes the couple's brand could become a legacy. However, in order to do so, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex need to be careful with which causes they support, how they present themselves and become a little more strategic, the expert added. Among the mistakes that Meghan and Harry can't make in the future there is the participation in events similar to the J.P. Morgan Forum they attended earlier this month, Mr. Burr said. The expert believes their attendance to the J.P. Morgan's Alternative Investment Summit in Florida earlier this month was a faux pas which won't resonate with their fans. He told Express.co.uk, Personally, I felt the J.P. Morgan public appearance in Miami was the wrong move at the wrong time. I would avoid further gigs such as the J.P. Morgan one. There will be organizations and brands queuing up to have a link or association with the couple. Therefore it would be imperative for them to outline from the outset, the causes and brands which they feel they would like work with going forward. Mr. Burr believes Meghan and Harry should pick just a handful of areas to focus their charitable work on, possibly those ones their fans can relate to. He continued, I would love them to become leaders to enhance a changing the world and make it a better place, but sometimes I feel they need to be a little more strategic with their decisions, and crucially, the timing of their announcements could be better thought through. They should focus on only two or three causes each. Then they won't dilute their time or saturate their key messages. They would then become better known for what they did for the world, rather than just being Harry and Meghan. Caring and loving nuclear families resonate with everyone. With their immense power and wealth. If they can demonstrate the values of being decent human beings who are striving to make the world a better place whilst also bringing up children within those core values, who can then also take on their mantle, then the Harry and Meghan brand can become a legacy. Meghan and Prince Harry will launch their new non-profit organization by the end of next month, when they are set to stand down as senior royals. The Sussexes have been working on their new foundation for months now and have recently carried out meetings with professors and experts at Stanford University to brainstorm ideas for their new charitable organization. Meghan and Prince Harry filed trademark applications for the Sussex Royal Foundation in July. However, in their latest statement, they said their plans to build a foundation similar to Kate and Prince William's Royal Foundation seem to have changed. The section in the statement concerning their new charitable venture read, as shared in early January on this website, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not plan to start a foundation, but rather intend to develop a new way to effect change and complement the efforts made by so many excellent foundations globally. The creation of this non-profit entity will be in addition to their cause-driven work that they remain deeply committed to. While the Duke and Duchess are focused on plans to establish a new non-profit organization, Given the specific UK government rules surrounding use of the word royal, it has been therefore agreed that their non-profit organization will not utilize the name Sussex Royal or any other iteration of royal. For the above reason, the trademark applications that had been filed as protective measures and that reflected the same standard trademarking requests as done for the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, have been removed. Prince Harry Heartbreak Fury after Meghan Markle's friend knocks down Harry. Meghan Markle's friend knocked down Prince Harry with a recent Megxit revelation, a royal expert has claimed. Dot the friend, who claimed the Duchess of Sussex said she will continue to champion Harry, has done more harm than good to the Duke yesterday. Meghan told a close friend she and Prince Harry were left with no choice but to release their lengthy statement on Friday night, the Mail reported. The Duchess of Sussex is also said to have lashed out at absurd claims the Sussexes wanted to make a profit thanks to their connection to the royal family. According to the Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer, these comments did nothing but knock down the coverage of a ecotourism summit Prince Harry was hosting. 
Mr. Palmer wrote on Twitter, whoever is briefing on Meghan's behalf in the U.S. managed to knock down coverage of Harry's engagement in Edinburgh today. Maybe I am missing something but that doesn't seem like smart PR. Meghan is said to have opened up on the Queen's decision to ban the use of the word royal from hers and Harry's current brand name once they step down as full-time working members of the family. The unnamed friends told the Daily Mail, Meghan said that, she and Harry, were left with no choice but to make a public statement. She said if anyone should feel insulted, it should be them. They never intended to capitalize on the word royal and to insinuate they were somehow abusing their privileges is absurd. The statement released on SussexRoyal.com was perceived as hostile by many commentators, especially the section regarding the use of the word royal. The Sussex's latest statement read, While there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex Royal or any iteration of the word royal in any territory either within the UK or otherwise, when the transition occurs spring 2020. Speaking about Prince Harry's ecotourism summit in Edinburgh, the source added, Meghan is going straight to London, not Edinburgh because that's Harry's thing. The Duchess of Sussex also reportedly said she will continue to champion her husband because, because out of everyone, he has the most integrity and the most loyalty. The source added, she said she and Harry will continue to rise above jealousy and pettiness and focus on the good they are creating and on being the best parents to Archie. Express.co.uk has contacted Buckingham Palace for a comment on the claims made by Meghan's friend. Prince Harry took the centre stage at the Edinburgh International Conference Centre yesterday morning. Kicking off his last round of engagements as a senior royal. The Duke of Sussex asked guests and partners to ditch his royal title and simply call him by his name. At the beginning of the working summit, the Duke was introduced by one of the hosts, journalist Aisha Hazarika, who said, he has made it clear we are all just to call him Harry. The chair of local tourism agency Visit Scotland, Lord Thurso, also spoke about Prince Harry's request. He said, I was about to call him Your Royal Highness, but I'll just introduce Harry. Meghan, who was not at Harry's side yesterday, will carry out on March 5 her first public engagement since January 7, when she visited Canada House in central London with her husband.